Monero had a hard fork the other day as a part of its semi-annual network upgrade, but in this hard fork there was an emergency change to the proof of work algorithm to make it more resistant to ASICs. So we had Monero V and with this hard fork we now have Monero Classic, Monero Original, Monero Classic, not to be confused with Monero Classic, and Monero Zero. These four new projects are all backwards compatible. They're all running on the old Monero chain that's still vulnerable to ASICs like the Antminer X3. Bitmain created the Antminer X3 to secretly mine Monero and other coins that use the Kryptonite proof of work algorithm and get a huge advantage in mining because of this. And they're also trying to sell this hardware to the public. But now with the new update, these ant miners are completely useless for mining Monero. So it's no wonder that some people want to stick to the old version that's still mineable with these optimized miners. And they say it's because they want more decentralization, where in reality ASICs lead to more centralization than general purpose processors. All these Monero projects, in my opinion, are complete trash. They belong in the garbage. I mean, there are downsides to being ASIC resistant, but if you're trying to make a coin that uh, relies on proof of work, if that's your goal, then the best way to go about it is to give the most equal opportunity to mine to everyone you can. Do not use your private keys to try to claim any of these Monero forks. Even if you just want to immediately sell them, there are privacy and security risk with doing this. First of all, nobody should be asking for your Monero private keys. And if you're using ring signatures, when you try to send the forked Monero coins, this signature will have the exact same key image as any Monero you want to spend on the real Monero chain. But they'll have different rings and your actual address will be the only one in common between these two. So anybody looking at these two signatures can obviously tell which ones are the decoy transactions and which one is the real one. That puts your privacy at risk and it also puts those random people's privacy also at risk. So Monero Classic, Monero Classic, Monero Original, Monero Zero, they're all trash. Don't believe the hype.